Shaders are a combination of two functions that work together to draw both 2D and 3D content onto a screen. In the realm of 3GS, shaders are used to color in the space contained within the shape of a geometry. 3GS comes with a couple of shaders by default, but sometimes those don't necessarily provide the look you're actually going for. This is where writing your own custom shader can come into play. The two functions a shader program consists of are a vertex shader and a fragment shader. A vertex shader is run once for every vertex provided by a 3GS geometry. It is responsible for setting a property called GL position, basically an XYZ coordinate that represents the position of the vertex on the screen. The vertex shader allows us to edit this position programmatically, altering the shape of the initial geometry in ways that wouldn't be possible otherwise. Rather than running once for every vertex, a fragment shader runs once for every pixel within our geometry. Its whole purpose is to set the color of that one pixel it's looping over in RGBA format. Although you can set a geometry's color using a standard 3JS material, using a fragment shader allows for highly customized effects. Both vertex and fragment shaders are written in GLSL, OpenGL shading language, a typed language that resembles writing code in standard C. It provides for a couple of unique features such as passing data from a JavaScript file using what's known as a uniform. You can also pass data from the vertex shader to the fragment shader using what's called a varying. When used together, uniforms and varyings can make your shader highly interactive, utilizing JavaScript generated data such as mouse coordinates and key presses. The easiest way to get started with shaders is through shadertoy.com. Although it only provides a fragment shader, it still allows you to get started coding with a single click of a button. Default uniform inputs are provided automatically and the rest is up to you. Just note the syntax here like main image and fry color are a bit different than the standard main and gl underscore fry color conventions. If you'd like to learn more, check out the free shader tutorial here on YouTube or visit chriscourses.com for interactive shader coding exercises and quizzes. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.